We have sung it often, heard it often. Long live our noble queen. She did indeed live long. And she was noble and constant and true to her promise that she would serve us all her days. Many of us are feeling as sad today as we might at a family funeral. She was, after all, the head of our national family, grandmother to us all, someone very dear to us. Because she was always there, reminding us of who we are as a people, reassuring us. We held her in awe because she was our queen and in affection. Because she was for us our granny queen. Now, she is gone from us. Yet we know from the Christian faith she held all her life that she would not have been that sad to go. She had done her duty as she had promised us she would. She has done her best. She knew where she was going, to a far, far better place, away from the troubles of this world to the peace of the next. Our tears will be tears of sorrow, but they should be tears of joy too. Above all, our hearts should be filled with gladness that we have been here to witness the extraordinary life of this queen. She did not reign over us. She reigned for us.